Yo, what is good, people of God? How are y'all? God is good. God is good. God is good. God is good regardless. God is good regardless. If you know that God is good regardless of what you're going through, go ahead and type God is good in the comments. If God is good no matter how you feel, type God is good in the comments. If God is good, I need a witness. I need somebody to come into agreement with me that God is alive. I need somebody to come into agreement with me right now that God is king, that he has everything worked out, that he is the supplier and provider of everything that we need, including eternal life past the time that this body will end, past the time that we don't have breath in these lungs. God is good. If you guys know that God is good, type God is good in the comments. The Bible says that if you are ashamed of God in public, he will be ashamed of you. Go ahead and make a public declaration. Type God is good. God is good. He is the provider of all things, even forgiveness of sin. God is good. God is good. The Bible says that he resides in the praises of his people. One time I got this word, I need God to move in my situation. I did a Bible study or a mini sermon before about I need God to move in my situation. And look, the Bible says that God resides in the praises of his people. So God will live in your praises. If you need God to move in, you get the play on words, God to move in your situation he will reside in your praises. If you need God to move in your situation, begin praising God. No matter what you're facing, no matter what's ahead of you, no matter your fears or anxieties, praise God. Praise God this morning. The Bible says if you don't praise him, the rocks will. I don't want a rock to take my place. I don't want a stone to take my place. I don't want a gem or anything to take my place. I'm going to praise God. The Bible says they God resides in the praises of his people. So praise God, right? God is good in the comments. God is good. The God of the Bible is good. He has thoughts of love towards you. He has thoughts of peace towards you. He has a purpose and a plan for you. God is good this morning. I'm over here just driving to work and I just wanted to come in and exhort some people. I just wanted to come and share my faith and say that I believe in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ has done a lot in my life. Jesus Christ has taken me through many seasons. He's taken me through drug addictions. He's empowered me out of alcoholism. He's taken me out of false uh, spirituality and false religion. God has brought me through seasons of betrayal. God has brought me through seasons of lack. God has brought me through every season to come to this live and tell you that Jesus is alive. Jesus is living. Jesus is inside of me. The Holy Spirit is inside of me. God is good. Jesus is king. No matter what you face, I want to remind you that God has brought you this far and he didn't take you this far just to take you this far. Continue to steward what God has given you. Continue to take care of what God has given you. Be faithful in what God has given you. Even if you feel like it's small in this season, remember, you can rejoice on the way. You can rejoice on the way. You can be grateful along the way. The Bible says, do not despise the day of small beginnings. Why? It says, because God loves to see the work start. God loves to see you using what you do have. God loves to see you using what you do have, even in obscurity, even if it's small. He likes to see you starting that work for him, because when you do that, you're showing him it's not about fame. When you use what God is giving you, you're showing him it's not about money. It's not about power. It's about reverence. It's about worship. It's about justice. It's about reality. It's about truth. It's about God. I'm just giving you what I owe you. I'm just giving you what I owe you. The Bible says that we need to be a living sacrifice for the Lord. We need to be a living sacrifice for the Lord. Some people say, I'll die for God. I'll die for Jesus. And that's awesome. That's awesome to say you'll die for Jesus. Bless me. I just ate some habanero almonds. I just got to work. 
But it's easy to say you'll die for God, but will you live for God? Will you steward what God has given you? Today, be in prayer. Today, be in worship. Today, listen to sermons. Today, reach out to your brothers in Christ or if you're a sister, reach out to your sisters in Christ. Keep honoring the relationships that God puts you in because God is good. I love you guys in Jesus Christ's mighty name. I better go get into this job. Y'all be blessed. Shalom, shalom.